Scientifically, the scariest thing in the world is snakes. 70% of US adults say their biggest fear is snakes. Of course, creatures like pythons and anacondas are spooky and also dangerous. But any snake we have today pales in comparison to the Titanoboa. The Titanoboa was the largest snake that ever lived. They're now extinct, but they lived in La Guajira. That is what is known today as Northeastern Colombia. Gigantic fossils of these snakes have been found in Colombia, and they date back to 58 to 60 million years ago. But what if these gigantic snakes never went extinct? How would humans in the past, present, and future deal with them? And how would our world be different today if these things still roamed with us? Would humans even be able to exist? Let's find out. Titanoboas were threats to pretty much any creature on land. They were so large that they were at the top of the food chain by miles. The Titanoboa held the record for the largest animal on the planet for about 10 million years. One reason why was because of its immense size. Its length was around 43 feet or 13 meters. This meant that it was larger than two giraffes if they were laying down vertically. To make things even more scary, the Titanoboa weighed a ridiculous amount. The snake weighed over one ton. That means this snake weighed as much as a young elephant. Thankfully, humans weren't around 60 million years ago to see these. But if they were, here's how they would compare in size. As you can see, the Titanoboa dwarfs any human. Titanoboa's mouths were so large they could easily swallow a hippo whole. But of course, they had very different animals all those years ago, so what did they eat? Well, Titanoboas would often eat fish from swamps and rivers. Titanoboas are also known for eating crocodiles. Much like snakes today, the Titanoboa would take out its prey using constriction. Many misunderstand this and think snakes simply squeeze you in. That's not true, instead, what they do is wait for you to wriggle around. As you move your body around, they're able to squeeze in tighter and tighter. So, just like quicksand, the more you move around, the more quickly you'll be taken out. The force of a Titanoboa constricting you would be double the weight of the Brooklyn Bridge crushing you. But how did Titanoboas get so big? Well, remember, these lived in the Paleocene era. That was when Earth was very warm. This meant that cold-blooded snakes like the Titan Boa could grow very large. You see, as you get further away from the equator, animals decrease in size, especially ectothermic ones like snakes. This is still true today, but was even more true back then. The Titan Boa had a row of sharp, curved teeth. These pointed inwards into the rear of its mouth. This kept its prey from struggling or getting away. The only thing that could stop the Titan Boa was the Miocene. That's when it began going extinct. But what if that never happened, and we had to live with Titan Boas today? If they were still around today, they would only be in warm climates. They would be near the equator. So if you live further north or south from the equator, you should be fine. Today, we would probably find these most in the Amazon jungle, and they would mainly be seen in countries like Colombia and Brazil. This would mean bad news for people in Central and South America. And because many ancient civilizations began here, this could have changed the course of human history. Ancient civilizations like the Aztecs and Incas could have been wiped out by Titan Boas. But if they weren't, they would have probably thought that Titan Boas were some kind of god. They would have likely worshipped the snake and also made sacrifices to it. Titanoboas would likely still eat fish. This means they would be near water, for example swamps or rivers. So perhaps ancient civilizations would have had to build their houses in trees. Titanoboas are huge, but many rainforest trees are larger than the snakes. This meant that if you built somewhere high enough, Titanoboas couldn't get to you. But what about right now? How would we interact with Titanoboas in 2020? Well, they would likely be a prized trophy when it comes to hunting. They could be used in many industries, for example cuisine. Titanoboas would likely be a very expensive dish, as they would be hard to hunt. Many trophy hunters would also love to hunt Titanoboas. And they could also be used for their skin, as snakeskin boots and bags are very expensive around the world. But any hunters would have to trek through the swamps of rainforests. And unlike many other animals, because Titanoboas are so big, tranquilizers could not take these out. Their size would also make it very hard to trap them. However, because their main food source, crocodiles, are still alive today, you could use them to set a trap. We would likely be fascinated with Titan Boas. After all, they're much larger than any land animal we have today. Nature documentaries would be made about these things all the time. And camera crews would likely risk their lives to get great footage of this snake. Zoos would probably not be able to hold Titan Boas. 
They're very large and could break out of zoos and cause chaos in cities. Also, they would be very expensive to maintain. They would have to be fed crocodiles, which could get expensive and hard to do. If Titanoboas did escape from a zoo or got into a major city, they could take down gigantic windows. People would have to board up their homes and businesses until the Titanoboa was taken out. Regular pest control crews could not do this, and we'd have to bring in the military. Just imagine how epic that would be to watch, the military versus a gigantic snake. Now, this could happen, but it wouldn't be because they see us as food. Like other snakes, titan boas only see crocodiles and fish as their food, not humans. But if we tried to harm them, they would likely eat us simply to get us out of the way. Unless titan boas evolved to live in colder climates, they would not be able to reach the USA. But they could definitely reach much of South America, Central America, and maybe even Mexico. Remember, there are many large cities near the Amazon rainforest. For example, Iquitos City in Peru. And Manaus city in Brazil. If the Titan Boa went to one of these cities, it would destroy the entire place. But eventually us humans would simply have to adapt. We'd have to get used to the fact that there are gigantic snakes roaming the world with us. Titan Boas would probably be seen like any other scary animal, for example sharks. Only Titan Boas are on land with us. Even if Titan Boas did exist today, they could still go extinct in the future. If the world suddenly dropped in temperature, then Titan Boas could go extinct. That's how they went extinct before, so this could always happen again. But right now the world's global temperature is not going down, so that likely would not happen. If the world's temperatures rose even more, this could mean that Titan Boas could get even bigger. So it's probably a good thing that they went extinct all those millions of years ago. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below, do you wish Titan Boas didn't go extinct, or are you glad they're no longer around with us today? If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.